Good morning, good afternoon, good night guys. What is up, it's Jojo, and today we are back at Epcot. Today we're gonna to be testing out the new uh, mask policy when sitting out at a dine-in. Basically right now, they changed it the other day. If you are sitting down at a table, even if you're by yourself, uh, you have to wear your mask when you're not eating or drinking. Before, when you used to sit down, you could take off your mask, you know, so definitely a little interesting. They're kind of upping the safety in indoor restaurants in general. So we're going to check it out. I'm going to see if I enjoy it. We're actually in Japan today, uh, Tepan Ido. I haven't been there in 2021, so it's going to be a little bit of a dining review of that too. And then there's a new Harmonious Barge over there, which we're going to look at after. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead, like, subscribe, share, and ring that bell. Let's go eat. Now I have eaten here before, but that was a year ago with my friends Dan and Austin. Top right corner if you want to check out that vlog. I wonder what's changed since then. Here we are, Tokyo Dining's actually over here. This side's closed right now. However, Tepan Ido, which is over there, is open. That's where we're gonna go. It's very quiet in here. I'm not used to it being this, you know, chill, honestly. I didn't honestly know that they did lunch here, but I love this place, so I'm down to eat. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so I just sat down and the updated policy now is face coverings for each guest age two and up, which must be worn in all public areas, can only be removed while actively eating or drinking. So face coverings must be worn while standing, waiting, or sitting in dining locations, just like here at Tapan Ido. Now what's interesting is that even though I'm socially distanced from another party, with plexiglass, I still have to keep my face mask on. A week ago, I could take off my face mask right now, but I have to keep it on right now. And I'm not gonna lie, it's starting to get hot outside. I kind of looked forward to sitting down and taking off my mask to get like a reprieve, but they haven't even given me water or anything yet. So I technically can't even take it off because I gotta follow the rules. So I'm actually gonna torture myself today instead of getting chicken or anything. I'm not gonna do that because it's lunch. I'm just gonna get some sushi. I'm gonna try the volcano rollout. So anyone who likes sushi, I'll give you my food review on that. But I'll still show you the process of tapon right now and how they cook it and grill it. It's pretty awesome and it already smells amazing. The best part of sitting down now, a drink so I can finally take off my mask. Now I've been in here for about 20 minutes or so and I have not been able to take this off. But now I can because I'm going to take a drink of Sprite and water. Cheers. Oh my gosh. <sighs> that was so needed. What's up, guys? Hi, you can see my face for a second. Yeah, no hibachi for me today. Next time, though, I come back, I'm gonna go with friends and enjoy the hibachi. But it's, you know, it's lunch. I wanted to try this last time, but I didn't get it. So, volcano roll. Here we go. Okay, so, so far, this whole mask policy, this is still very new. I just finished talking to the cast member and they just found out today, actually. So this is, again, very, very fresh. I don't think every single guest realized that. I'm looking around right now and I see people who aren't actively eating or drinking with their masks off, which kind of, you know, I get it, kind of, but I also understand why they're choosing to do this. So comment down below, how do you feel about this new policy? As you see right now, I'm actively drinking so I can have my face mask on. Talk to you guys, but... I'm also extremely dehydrated right now anyway. I'll give you a quick vibe check of the restaurant so you can see for yourself. So I haven't even gotten my food yet, but as I'm sitting here, it's kind of weird, right? Like, it's kind of like a loose rule. I don't really know how people are gonna do with this rule. Are they gonna listen to it? Are they not gonna listen to it? Um, are places enforcing it more than other places, even with the safety precautions of social distancing with plexiglass like in Tapan Ido? I don't know. Also, the sushi is actually gonna be part of the hibachi, so we're still part of it, kind of, which is great. I'm happy about that. Uh, bro, it's 
Ginger sauce is good for your vegetables. Yeah. Yeah. Japanese ranch. cut up the shrimp and put it in the sushi which is nice I love the presentation of this and here is the shrimp mm. Mm. that's really good that's yummy um, definitely a different take on sushi um, it's nice that it's cooked. It's, it feels very fresh. It tastes fresh. Um, if you like sushi, you're going to like this. Hands down, I recommend it. Um, the serving size is on the smaller size. This was, uh, I think, $18. So this is going to be a very light lunch for me, but that's okay. Now, normally, I like to put some soy sauce on my sushi, but the volcano sauce that they put on this is more than enough. Almost done here. I'm going to be wrapping it up here at... Upon Ida. Next stop, we're gonna go outside and see all the new Harmonious updates because there's a new barge and basically Harmonious is done now. Okay everyone, so that was Tepanillo. Some things have changed since the last time I've been here. Honestly, the biggest thing was the social aspect. I really enjoyed being able to talk to the guests around me. Because, you know, we sat next to people, it's hibachi. So, I did make friends before, but with the glass being there, I didn't really have any opportunities slash, like, like moments to get to know the people I was sitting with, which was unfortunate. But that's okay, that's not the biggest thing. The thing that did change, however, as well, 
is the little launch. Usually they launch food into your mouth and you try to catch it. They didn't do that this time. And that was about the biggest differences I noticed. Now with the policy, it's still very fresh and only time will tell if people truly start to follow it or not. But when I was in there, most people were not wearing their face mask even when there wasn't food or a drink in front of them. As you can tell when I'm walking through, you can kind of get the vibe that most people either didn't know about the policy or just didn't follow it. So comment down below, what do you think about this new eating policy? Do you think it's important? Do you think it's needed? Or do you think it's a little silly and not needed due to the fact that Disney already has so many other safety precautions in place already, including social distancing and the plexiglass when you're sitting down at dinner or lunch. Another reason why I wanted to go to Epcot today was because of the harmonious barge. The last piece is installed. If you don't know what this is, it's basically a huge like fireworks stage. At nighttime, that thing will be shooting fireworks out from it. And in the daytime, it will be a fountain. So now I'm gonna walk around a little bit and give you a couple different angles of the fully completed barge with the huge circle. And then I'll give you my opinions about how I feel about it at the end. Also, Flower and Garden is just around the corner, so make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss my vlog of that day, because I will be here. You can already see some of the menu coming in. Garden Gaze, Grilled Baby Vegetables, Boneless Impossible Korean Short with Pineapple Skewer. Might have to try that Pineapple Skewer. But yeah, um, it's kind of interesting, because they've been setting up a lot of stuff. Even some of the topiaries are up over by uh, the main entrance. Another mention about this policy, this is actually a really hot day. Like, it's getting only hotter here in Disney World, so it's gonna make people wanna take off their masks more. So when you're over by France and Morocco, the view is still pretty good. You don't really see the barge, as you see it's in the distance, but I have a feeling that when you get over to the main area at the entrance of the World Showcase, that thing's gonna be right in your face. Here in France, they already have the topiary set up for uh, Belle and Beast. And in the distance, you can see Ratatouille as well. Now, this is really fitting, honestly. I love the fact that the Ratatouille topiary is right outside of the entrance to the new ride, which is coming hopefully in the next couple months. Here is another look at the harmonious barge. You can see there's a lot of like technical wires and stuff. There's lights on it. Like I said, it's going to be a fountain in the day and a nighttime spectacular at night. I know some people don't like how big it is and how it's in the center of this whole lake lagoon area. Let's not count our eggs before they hatch, right? Like this might be amazing once it's all completed. From that to this, that's what it's gonna be. Harmonious will be a stunning celebration of the global connection we all share brought to life each night here at the World Showcase Lagoon. There's the fountains in the day. As you see, there's the circle in the middle that's been attached now. And then at nighttime, it's gonna do some crazy stuff. I think there's gonna actually be water being like a water projection in the center. That's what they're gonna have as well. So I think it's gonna be pretty dope once it finally decides to arrive. They were testing the fireworks the other night. So it might come sooner than we think. Captain Hook and Pizza Pan are here already as well. Pooh Bear and his friends are already out. There's a rabbit, Pooh. You got Tigger, Piglet, and Eeyore over here. I love Tigger, I miss Tigger. Another look at it. Look at Kermit and Miss Piggy. They already have a ton of flower and garden stuff ready for the festival, look at that. It's interesting, because usually they don't do this, they usually do it overnight, but it makes sense that they're doing it earlier just to be more safe about everything. I love that Mickey flower, like, ah. Oh. This is beautiful. Here's a tiny boat that they take out at night to bring this huge like, construction machine over to the barge. It will be really cool if I can get a shot of the barge with the Epcot ball behind it. But to do that, you need to go backstage. Dopey and Snow White over in Germany. And here's the look at the barges from China. There's actually a decent amount of trees blocking uh, the view. So I wonder if they're gonna keep those trees there. They probably will. I'm sure the fireworks will be big enough to see at night, but you really can't see any of the center projections from here. I like how they have Buzz outside of Mission Space because, you know, Buzz a space ranger. And here is the full front view of the Harmonious Barge. You can see some work boats out there. They obviously do work on this at nighttime. Sometimes people come out during the daytime. But this is what it's gonna look like. This is the new view when you come in to the World Showcase. I do think it's going to be amazing at nighttime. I definitely see how what they're going to do is they're going to put water in that circle right there and put projections on it at nighttime. I think it's going to actually look amazing once it comes through. Water is going to be shooting out of all of these barges and then again at nighttime. You can see even the tiny barges will have projections on them as well. It's going to look sick. 
By the way, guys, this is definitely the spot whenever Harmonious does open up right here, standing right here, it's gonna look insane. I have no idea when it's gonna come out, but I definitely will be here when it does come out. It's gonna be a madhouse whenever it does. One more look at the bars from a further distance as you walk into the World Showcase. Okay, so overall, this new policy is definitely going to be a little weird. It's going to take some time getting used to. I don't think it's actually going to affect people as much as they think it is. Um, when you have a water in your hand or a drink, people are already kind of drinking and being stationary. It's just for the people who are just standing there, I guess, with their masks off. Now, masks during sit-down dining definitely was a little strange. People were both doing it and not doing it. I really don't know what's going to happen with that. I feel like it's going to be different on whatever place you go to. Teponito didn't really mind. I mean, everyone had their food for the most part. So we'll see how everything goes. And with the last barge being installed, I'm actually excited for Harmonious. I know some people didn't like how it was just in the slap middle of the lagoon. However, I don't think it's that bad. I think it's gonna actually look really cool once it's up and running. But I wanna hear from you guys down below. Let me know, are you excited for Harmonious? Are you excited, not excited about this new mask policy? Um, I had a great day today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this cool little informational slash test of the new policy here in Disney World's Epcot. Uh, if you enjoyed, make sure you go ahead, like, subscribe, share, ring that bell. And like always, every day is a blessed day to be alive. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much, guys. Peace.